I think where it comes in is, um, you know, I think you see kind of almost like even a greater level of caution now and caution in the sense that if she needs to pivot to the left because Bernie Sanders is coming after her on marijuana legalization, she's going to do it. That may not sound cautious, but it is in a sense because she's feeling like, oh, she needs to protect her flank on this. So she's going to do it. She needs to protect her flank on that. The, the single biggest thing that I've been struck by so far in this race is how much Hillary Clinton has gone from being kind of a, a centrist pragmatist living in the real world, not over promising because she knows certain things can't get done to being kind of like a, um, you know, a liberal's dream if they can't get Bernie Sanders <laughs> or Elizabeth Warren and saying things that are critical, say, of charter schools, even though she was, you know, a big defender of them. Yeah, but then last night she said she reminded people that she voted for a border fence to secure the border. I think she's a bit playing to whichever crowd she's mm, speaking to. Mm -hmm. And I think right now with Bernie's numbers kind of falling, she's looking more towards the general. And I do mm. think, I mean, even her opposition to the Trans-Pacific Partnership left the door open to possibly supporting it at some point. I think she is eyeing the general and she could morph back into the sort of centrist candidate. And does she, does but, she held accountable for that, do you think, in the well, long run? Well, I think run? this the is the problem. And a lot people say that this is a miscalculation that pe the problem with Hillary Clinton is not is she progressive enough it's is she authentic mm -hmm. and so when she starts wavering or switching positions this hurts her authenticity and I think that is a bigger vulnerability than oh is she progressive enough on the Keystone pipeline I mean yes these are hot button issues well, let me ask you